I'm gonna call these theory shorts because it's not really a full out theory that I'm gonna write down or go really into depth or maybe theory observations. I'm not sure yet. It's a working title. You'll start seeing these come up and I'll come up with a clever name for them, I guess. But anyways, in my watching of episode one and episode two of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, we have been told that the super soldier serum is somehow in play. In my review of episode two, I mentioned that it feels kind of weird that just so far after the snap, you know, six months after the snap, that in those six months, this has come into fruition. These young men and young women have injected the super soldier serum into them and are now trying to go back to the blimp or to where, where Thanos snap, where half of the population was completely eradicated. It seems a little bit far fetched for me to believe that. Now, in this theory that I have, this theory short, I believe we are witnessing mutants. And I believe fake Captain America is also an enhanced mutant. Only due to the fact that it doesn't make sense if you try to even think about it and make it fit why it took so long. Why now? Why is this going on at this present moment? Because if there was a sinister plan and the super soldier serum has been around hypothetically as we're, as we're getting to know, or as they're telling us in the Falcon and the winter soldier for hundreds of years, if not at least 80 to 70 years, 70 to 80 years. So why now? So I believe that these are mutants enhanced mutants that were created from Wanda's grief where if you remember the last episode where we found out what Wanda did and how she created the hex that initial burst when she grieved there was no control over that and I believe that engulfed the world and then she controlled it and built her hex as we saw with Monica Rambeau when she crossed the hex it activated the gene. Now she had to go through it a bunch of times to fully become photon, but that initial burst, I believe activated the X gene that now some of these enhanced people are finding out. And like I said earlier, strength is a default setting for superheroes. No matter what you look, if you see an enhanced or in our 23 movies, superpower just happens to be a default setting. I believe we're going to see them explore their powers and find some more of their powers as we move forward in phase four. And we might see it here in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier before the series is over. But even when you look at Captain America or fake Captain America, the way he was wielding the, the shield with that kind of speed and velocity, that is, there has to be superhuman strength there. When we see Bucky in the trailers do it, it comes back super slower because he only has regular normal strength. So again, the, this little mini short theory is that I believe we are witnessing the, the creation of enhanced or the mutants that are derived from Wanda's grief and Wanda's initial power burst. And this has nothing to do with super soldier serum. And this vaccination that they are getting, I believe is to kill off half of the population, like creating a pandemic and kind of the reverse of what's actually going on now in our real lives is creating some kind of pandemic where they're gonna force vaccinations and it's gonna kill off a bunch of people because that's their goal of the flag smashers the flag smashers is to go back to snap levels of population. So the easiest way is to vaccinate them, I guess, because it makes no, no point. No, it makes no sense what this vaccination is. 
And I believe it's a misdirect. A lot of people are saying, oh, it's because they're trying to create more super soldiers uh, with the super soldier serum. I don't think that at all. I have to think of how would they destroy half of the population? Well, there it is. I believe the vaccination is one of them. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Again, sorry for the horrible uh, introduction and title. Again, these are my little theory shorts. Uh, I just want to see what the what the community thinks about these little short theories. So again, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And like always, that's a wrap.